close to forwards and futures steps are the contract between two counterparties for step of or exchange of cash flows over time there are three types of steps interest rate steps credit default steps and currency swaps sometimes in international market all of these three types of steps may be combined where any receipt in one currency in a country is exchanged for payment in an in another form of currency in a second current country now let's see how interest rate swaps work we have an example we have a firm with outstanding debt of 100 million dollars bearing a 9% rate of interest with a maturity of 10 years so annual interest payment for 9 years is 9 million dollars for each year this means that this interest payment is a fixed obligation for the firm also there is a balloon payment of 100 million dollars of loan as a principal payment at the end of the maturity which is 10th year we assume that firm is in leasing business and firm is providing short term loans on short term interest rates and the nature of the firm we assume that is highly cyclical in nature this means that there is a possible variation in the business revenues of the firm so it might be difficult for the firm to make these debt payments if we see the relationship between firm's revenues and its cost we see that the revenues of the firm are moving in line with the interest rates happening in the market whereas the cost of the firms are relatively fixed so the firm's preference over the interest rates will naturally be to have a floating rate loan rather than a fixed interest rate loan under an interest rate swap contract now firm have two has two options to manage its loan the first option is to borrow from capital market uh, in this way the firm can borrow 100 million dollars at a variable rate of interest say the at libor and in this way the firm can retire its outstanding fixed interest bearing loan but generally it is an expensive mode to get a new loan at a flexible rate of interest in order to retire a fixed rate loan the second option with the firm is to enter into an easy swap agreement in this way the firm can exchange its fixed rate obligation with the variable uh, for example libor based floating rate obligation now how this swap agreement will work for the firm assume that the firm agrees to swap its fixed 9% loan with the current libor rate of say 5% uh now if the libor rate starts at 8% it rises for 3 years to 11% then it goes on declining at 7% for rest of the maturity of the loan we have a diagram here if we see this diagram we can Uh, conclude that how interest rate payments are swapped in this agreement we see that the firm is owing 8.5 million dollar as interest in one year 9.5 million dollars as interest in year 2 10.5 million dollars as interest in year 3 11.5 million dollars as interest in year 4 but uh, in later uh, the interest rate drops to 7% uh in this way the interest payment to the firm has also declined to the amount of 7.5 million now the firm is paying its loan from 8.5% it is rising and then after 3 years it is declining and it is 7.5 million dollars each of the year till the 
टेंथ ईयर बट इन रिटर्न द फर्म इज गेटिंग अ फिक्सड अमाउंट ऑफ नाइन मिलियन डॉलर इन ईच ईयर आल दो देर इज अ नेट डिफरेंस ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन सो फर्म विल बी एडजस्टिंग इट्स कैश फ्लो टू द ट्यून ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन विच इज द नेट अमाउंट एंड इन दिस वे द फर्म इज स्वेपिंग इट्स फिक्सड ऑब्लीगेशन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद द वेरिएबल रेट ऑब्लीगेशन द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ स्वेप इज द करेंसी और द फॉरन एक्सचेंज स्वेप्स दीज आर द स्वेप्स of obligation to pay cash flows in one currency for debt to pay in an other currency currency swap is a tool for hedging risk in the international trade we have an example like a us firm exports goods to germany with the expected export proceed of 100 million euro to occur now us firm is paying its all cost in us dollar but it it is receiving its revenues in euro so there is a chance that firm is exposing to exchange rate risk let's say for an exchange rate of 2 euro against 1 dollar the firm's receipts of 100 million euro will be equal to 50 million dollars but if the exchange rate goes to 3 euro is equal to 1 dollar then the dollars proceed will be equal to 33.33 million dollars now the solution to this exchange risk is that firm can have a currency swap like for example the firm can enter into a five year currency swap at a fixed term of 100 million euro for 50 million dollar each year now it is immaterial that uh, up till the end of the contract what would be the exchange rate the firm has nothing to do this varying exchange rate as it has pegged its exchange rate risk right now under a swap contract the third type of swap is the credit default swap or cds in fact cds is just like an insurance against a value loss due to the chance that a firm can go on a default for a debt in a cds there are two types of part counterparties named as c1 and c2 here c1 is basically the protection buyer it is in fact periodically pays a cds spread to the second party or c2 which is the protection seller now in ex in exchange or in return c2 or the protection seller agrees to pay at par some amount in case of default on the loan let's see an example how this cds works let's see mr a contracts mr b for a loan of 200 million dollars A agrees to pay a spread of LIBOR plus five percent. B, the lender, although hesitant due to the associated credit risk, yet he agrees to the loan but buys some protection for a four percent CDS spread from an insurer. Like in case of A's default, the insurer will pay B the par amount, and in exchange. the insurer will receive 0.8 million dollar which is basically the 4% of the loan amount and that loan amount is we know that 200 million dollars and this 0.8 million dollar each year will be given to the insurer by the lender who is b till the uh, life of the debt